Good day. And this is Jim. Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy today's video. A little background on today's video. Uh, here's the situation. I started on this project that I'm going to show you for a friend of mine. Um, local automotive machinist is building a, a shaft for one of his for a valve grinding tool. And I started on it, and I'm going to show a good bit of the machining. I'm not going to show the completion, and it, I apologize for that. The, the main reason why is all this was done off the cuff, and I had a lot of notes here and stuff. And uh, Larry, the customer, he come in with me yesterday and helped tell him exactly what he needed and what not so I couldn't video the completion of it some of the complete milling and stuff uh, basically the only thing you're not seeing is us cutting some stuff to length and milling one slot and boring a couple of uh, uh, collars and stuff like that I will include the pictures in the video uh, of before and after and uh, we will do that and uh, so that will give you kind of an idea of what we're doing. Also, uh, I went ahead yesterday and I made some hood pin strengtheners for around the hood of the race car since we're changing the color. And I'll show a few clips of the lathe work on that to be added in too. So, with no further ado, get the popcorn the cold drinks, the coffee, the adult beverages if you indulge in them, the chips, the dip, gather around the TV, the widescreen, the computer. Sit back and watch me make a monkey's tail out of myself. We'll come back and tell you bye. Have a great day. Okay, I got a pile of customer work here. My uh, friend Mr. Wire was over today and we we're trying to come up the system off camera while he was here I went ahead and I bored this rod out for this shaft here uh, this will swivel I've got some other work to do and this is going to be some sort of assembly it goes in a, a valve machine so uh, I've got all kind of notes and chicken scratch and sharpie marks and everything else to get these pieces made and he was here and we changed the design here and the fly decided just to fix this to where it could be pinned so I'm going to get started what you see right here is a piece of steel and what we're going to do is we're going to make a collar here approximately 950 thousandths in diameter and then we'll go lower. <laughs> and what this is for is for Excuse me. Just Hello. All right, I've taken a couple of passes here, and we're down to about a little under one inch. And the the other one was about 940, and I'm about 990. And I'm gonna leave it a little bit bigger because this is gonna slip. This is got a this one here. We want that this this is gonna be bored to slip inside of this. So, I need to go ahead and put a hole in it. So, let me go ahead and get a hole started and get a drill in. Okay, here we go. We're going to drill this for a 3964 drill. Let me set this drill sort of close. Let me back up here and I'm going to reset this. We'll come back and revisit this. Hang on a minute. Oh. 680, that'd be 680, 690. I forget these things read backwards. So I have to think sometimes. 
so we're about at 690 so we got a good ways to go so I can work with it I'll go ahead and show you a pass right quick I'm so that much I can take another 50 thou or so <laughs> I'll bring you back. I get closer. It's no use to be wasting yours and my time. Okay, we're gonna do this to finish. This should be the four. I want about two under. So I'm about four under right now. I sped it up a little bit, and we're gonna take a light cut. I'm gonna check the size. This piece will be done. I'll put a chamfer in the back as soon as I get done checking the size. So let me check the size and get back with you, mate. All right, we're cutting it off now, by the way. Whoa, excuse me for the bouncy bounce. I wish you probably realized I was cutting off and turning the camera off. And uh, we'll go see what we got. Okay, now we have the shrunk part. What you have, basically, a, a uh, and you'll see in a minute why I've done this. part that the customer wants this has got to have a basically a 5 8 hole in it so to accommodate that 5 8 hole this this is a basically a I'll just be honest it's just a Harbor Freight swivel he brought to me and um, I'll put a picture in the video of what this is going on. See, the reason that we went through the trouble of heat shrinking this, this socket wall will be really, really thin if you don't. So, I told the customer that basically what we needed to do here was to do that. Now, all right. Whoops. Sorry. Meant to keep it in three and go to B. I'm sorry. Too hard RPM. And now we're just going to go in there and take a half inch drill. And we're going to drill the drive out of this socket. Customers gonna weld this stuff together, by the way. So I ain't got no welding to do with this. It's all the customer's responsibility. Okay. So now I've got a half-inch hole in it. So we're gonna bore this out to five eighths plus about two thousandths or so. Uh, five, a minimum of five eighths. Uh, maximum of 5 8 plus 2 and my phone just dings so let me get back to you 
Okay. Oh, yeah, this is loads of fun. So now you see, if you'll start to notice, I still got some room to go. So I'm at 579 and we're wanting 625. So I'm going I'm to go about 30 more thou. This is pretty tough to pour. About 30,000 shot. So, thank God that's a Harbor Freight socket, isn't it? <laughs> Not a snap-on. Tom, it ain't a snap-on. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing working. You see why I made the slip collar for. So it's lock tighted and it's heat shrunk and it's pressed. So it's still got a lot of extra wall by doing what I just did. So that's really good for him. Okay, this piece of tubing is, needs to be a half inch. And the only reason I'm gonna run a half inch reamer through it, quite frankly is because it's a piece of DOM tubing. So with it being DOM, there's a little bit of a, a w electric weld or seam in it. So to make sure we get it deep enough, and this is not doing anything, it's got to be Fairly precise, we just want a slip fit between the shaft and this. So, we're just trying to clean out all the buggers. I'll check it on the shaft here in a second. What we are doing here is we're turning down the just the bow to off this piece of half inch shaft so it'll fit in that other. And uh, I'm just going to work right up here close to the truck. And then I'm going to back everything off and I'm going to grab some sandpaper and some stuff like that. I'm going to polish it. I know it's not completely round. It, it's got to just slide good. That's all we're trying to do here. Okay. Now this is the tubing that's cut down. Now what i got to do is there's a spring that will slide up and down this tubing. And... For the spring to work, this tubing needs to be turned down. I spent a lot of time polishing the shaft and reaming this piece of tubing. But now we've got to cut it. I'm just taking a light cut to get a reference here. I've already got all the lengths and all marked off camera. So basically, you see what I'm doing now is taking a low, low D cut down this tubing and uh, just to get a reference of where we at. This ain't got to be terribly precise. It's about 200,000 to come off of this. So, I just want to take this first cut get a, a place to work from. Then go back and measure it again. So, I'll bring you back here when we get this done. But I'll bring you back when I get down close to size. So, no use of you sitting here watching me run this shaft about 20 minutes. Alright, I slid the spring on it. This is to be a tight. I'm going to take me a little couple of thousands off just to give me a little bit of clearance. I know this is hot and it'll draw up a little more than it cools off, but I don't want that spring bind. I'll just check the spring. I'm going to put it from the leaf. Right there. And take the 
Pau. That way it'll be nice and slick on these corners. Okay, so I got a little relief. That spring will fit right there good. Alright, all the lathe work's done now. Every bit of it. It's got a little drilling and milling to do. Alright, I'm I'm gonna show this in, in somewhat of an order. The, the very first clip that I'm going to show is the machine with the tape measure where he was determining the lengths of the stuff he needs. And the uh, second photo will be the finished product, how it looks on a machine. So, or maybe a series, a couple of them that he showed me. So this way you'll get an idea of what the finished product we was machining looks like. I apologize for not having it all complete, but... Sometimes you're working with somebody else's stuff and you need them here. It's a little bit uh, difficult to film when you've got somebody in the shop. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm marking this out to cut these squares out. I've already cut one out here, and this is going to be new hood pin pieces, or hood braces. All right, folks, this is a copyrighted production, James Deadman Saw Laws Plastic Cups. Uh, thanks for stopping by and having this visit with me in the shop today. I really enjoy you stopping by. I do apologize that some of this is more a little bit incompleted stuff than normal, but uh, Unfortunately, that's just the way things go sometimes. And uh, uh, if I throw out everything, then you, you know, don't get to see some of the other comings and goings here in the shop. And that's kind of where this is coming from. Uh, uh, like I say, comments is always welcome. Subscriptions is always appreciated. Uh, I've gained to a point that I could do ads, but the revenues is not worth it. Uh, right now i would love you to still tell your friends your neighbors your acquaintances that follow machining folks on youtube or follow these channels if you haven't checked me out please do if you're stopping by on a visit and feel like that i got the kind of content that you'd like to see stop on by and pay us you know do us an honor and subscribe i always tell people when we're doing this if you don't subscribe to me subscribe to somebody there's a lot of great creators on YouTube in this genre and they all deserve subscriptions so how about jumping on the bandwagon maybe you'll find somebody else I apologize sometimes I'm a little bit more no-nonsense we get the job done here uh, we're not a bunch of comedians uh, my comedic talents are not very good anyway, so <laughs> you'll have to apologize. If you're looking for comedy, you need to go somewhere else because you sure ain't here in my channel. You probably just get more old man screwing up than comedy. With all that being said, I hope you have a great day. Hope you stop by and pay us a visit next week or whenever I do another video. Until all them times, sit back and enjoy me or some other creator, and we'll see you in the very next video. Thank you so much for coming by.